on Sunday night, we had the legend Gabby over on the Wide World of Reselling to talk everything Garage Sale Trail 2021. Well, today, this door's going up, and I'm going to show you absolutely every garage sale I step foot into. The garage sale enthusiasts have been locked away, and they're all ready to rumble. Let's get into it, Kogo. How are you going? Hi, good, thank you. That's all right. The uh, papers put you in at 103. 103, did they? Yeah. And someone's went to 101. Oh, uh, okay. No, no, the paper's up the shoot. Yeah. yeah. And that, that shouldn't. Like, you pay money to put them yeah, in. Yeah, they should do it properly. Yeah. How much for all the toys? Oh, look, whatever. Just... Not much, mate. Not, Not much? much. <laughs> $10 for those. $10, beautiful. Do you want a bag, little bag? Yeah, that'd be good, please, thank you. Morning. Morning. Beautiful, thank you. So what we got at the first one, I'm going to go through it here. I didn't show you off in the car. It was uh, garage sales for me. I'm always in a hurry to get to the next one. So um, there was just a few toys that I spent 10 bucks on. Basically, we've got CM Punk there, the 2003 uh, Jack Pacific. That's generally 15, 20 bucks plus postage. So, I, you know, I'm getting my money back off him. Skeletor, He-Man, Master of the Universe. You know, I love that stuff. Uh, this one's from 1981. Uh, I think... You know, I can get around the probably 40 mark for Skeletor. And then we have little LJN thumb wrestlers. So I got Rowdy, Roddy Piper and Hulk. Uh, I think, you know, about 15 bucks each, I think. This is coming straight off the top of my head. And um, then, now this one was a little bit disappointing. Another LJN figure from the 80s. It's Macho Man Randy Savage. He's been coloured in, so that's very disappointing. This is in decent condition, generally a $50 toy. Um, like this, we're going to try and clean him up. We'll see how we go. But, uh, yeah, very disappointing. He's been drawn on. Some of these particular figures are super hot. They go for super, just ridiculous money. Ultimate Warrior, I know. I've seen that sell for like $300 or something crazy like that. So uh, if you do see these big rubber figures, definitely uh, keep your eyes peeled. But um, not a bad first little stop. Uh, as I said, I didn't actually film kind of straight after it because it was early days and I was just trying to scoot around all the sales. Hey, how are you? That's all, eh? How much you got on that one? $2. Two dollars? Beautiful. Yeah, no, that's fine. No worries. I'll grab that one. Two bucks. Oh, Jesus Christ, you can't beat that. It doesn't have a remote, but that is not an issue. They still sell for pretty good money without the remote. Um, but if I, that's providing it works.
Hey, good, thanks, how are you? Well, hey, man, fan, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stoked to see that. <laughs> and I got that one out of the um, thing there. Thank you. Uh, you wouldn't have enough change, would you? Thank you. Yeah. Like oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Must be a bit early in the day. Yeah, it is People a bit. laugh at the young ones when they can't work that out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much for that. Uh... Coco, that's a huge get. This is an absolutely monster get. Oh, The best thing about these, I paid eight bucks. Um, look, we got accessories. Holy moly, that is epic. Got another thumb wrestler. Oh man. This is why I love garage sales so much. I've spent 10 bucks, two bucks for that VCR is epic. And eight bucks for those toys with accessories is absolutely mental. Uh, I'm pumped with that. As soon as I say no, I jumped on it. Uh, I had to get the um, toys. Uh, some of them I might even keep, but most of them will get sold for sure. Especially with the accessories, that's um, 10 bucks into a lot of money on uh, those two purchases. So this is why I love garage sales. Just the the pricing can be just so good because people are just clearing stuff out. It's just old crap to them. It was probably a kid's toys, no longer need it. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm wrapped. I haven't found Masters of the Universe at garage sales like that, in like that many anyway. So, pumped with that. I've actually turned up to this one about 10 minutes early, and there's quite a few bikes out the front. So, this one will be interesting. There could be a bit of uh, pushing and shoving and all that sort of shit. So, let's hope not. Hopefully, everyone's respectful, but... Uh, at the moment now, I don't. I think all the restrictions have eased, so we don't have to wear masks anymore. But I'm still gonna. Just I don't know. Principal, I got a kid. He can't get vaccinated. So um, in these sort of areas where everyone's kind of pushing and shoving and shit, I don't want to take any risks. Take all the precautions. So uh, I'll continue to wear the mask. But um, I reckon this one might get a little bit hectic. So let's see what happens. Thanks, mate. Now, if you do see something you think that I've missed today, Coco, let me know below. I am being very selective with what I buy. I'm focusing on niches a lot harder at the moment and trying to scale up my business with the staff. So um, I'm not trying to buy up too much random stuff like I normally would, but you know, I love my toys, uh, I love my electronics, and they are something that I definitely just, uh, I'll always pick up regardless. So, you know, there's a lot getting left behind that doesn't really interest me so um but if there is something you think i left behind let me know i'm I, uh, always curious to know this stuff hey what's the best you take for that that's not mine, mate. I'm just I'm doing the same as you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Does this one have the remote? Be oh. probably yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? Sherwood or whatever. They're good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yes. You got a snag in it. Thinking about it. No, I was thinking about it. I reckon I'll just get over it. <laughs> You're a good bloke. <laughs> yeah, you said no. Nah, that's all right. No worries. I don't think you really need a remote with it. I mean, it's like, no, yeah, it's got, like the manual still sleeve holes and everything. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't even think it would usually have much of a remote, a remote anyway, these ones. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you yeah. can easily buy one. You get one on eBay, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. They're, they're real good. So sure, yeah, nice. absolutely. That's absolutely. Nice. If you're not going to get it, mate, I'll jump yeah, on it. Yeah, I've got it. I just stopped buying, so. Yeah, fair enough. I have to go get capture, so, you know, yours. Cheers, mate. Yeah, that'll do. We'll put it in there. Who do I pay for this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Thanks very much, mate. Nice. So, 100% gamble on that amplifier. It's not something I've ever sold before. So, no remote. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll have a look. It was only 10 bucks. So, I figured the gamble will be all right. It might have to end up going on Facebook if it's no good, but uh, or my own garage, so I want to have one. But uh, old mate kind of convinced me to buy that one. <laughs> he wanted it. I don't think he knew what he's on about. I don't know, but uh, he might have been a neighbour, and they've called in to uh, be the salesman and try and talk someone into selling it. But uh, I've picked it up. Hopefully, we can get some money for it. It's a big, heavy unit, so it'll be expensive to ship. But nonetheless, it's uh, some amplifiers can go for good money. So I'm still pretty happy with it. I think it's worth more than ten bucks. I'm all done. Look, I didn't get to a lot of garage sales. Once again, it's a bit tricky for me with a little fella doing uh, swimming. That light is all up in my shit. Um, so a quick breakdown. So with these Masters of the Universe figures, I have started listing them. Uh, and I'm shooting for the clouds, you know. I do that with this stuff because I can sit it on the shelf and, uh, yeah, wait for an offer to come in or wait for someone to actually buy it. So not complaining with that. But what I've done, I've... Um, done them individually so we'll fang this around i've put them with their right parts and most of them are fairly complete he's missing his hat which means i'll get about 30 to 50 dollars each hopefully he wasn't complete uh this was in here too excuse my mess this little guy was in there looks like i can get about 35 for him voltron the witch uh Thought I'd try something a bit different. Skeletor came from that other garage sale, so he didn't actually come in a lot of He-Man stuff. Um, as the Universe stuff with He-Man, but uh, I've bundled him with He-Man. This guy's arm is a little bit broken, so he had uh, a couple of his bits, and then I've put this guy in too, because I've got about four of him at the moment. So I've done a little bundle of them, and I've put it up for a stupid price, and we'll see if we can get, what, what offers we get anyway. Now, 
the Macho Man LJN figure. Um, I am pretty happy with getting this. These are really hard to get. Some of these particular figures can go for hundreds. This one here in good condition will net you probably about 40, 50 bucks. But this one sadly has been drawn on. We'll try and clean it up. Hopefully we can get a bit of it off. We'll see what happens. But uh, nonetheless, that's pretty cool. Who draws on their toys? Uh, they both came from that same one. So we got these guys. These are the LGNs as well. They are the thumb wrestlers. I think there's about 30 bucks in that from memory. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But anyway, they came with Skeletor. And they also came with the CM Punk. So very random that he was in there as well from 2003. So CM Punk came with them. So we paid 10 bucks for those figures. And we'd get the money back on Punk. You'd get 15 bucks for him. So uh, pretty happy with that. But I put him in there the bundle with He-Man. I just... I think it might drive a sale a bit quicker. I like parting these out individual because I can put them on the shelf and stuff rather than just moving them in the big lot. But uh, what do you reckon? We'll put him in the bundle. And then these two. So we got another one. I got two of them. But uh, he came in with all the Master of the Universe stuff. So a couple more thumb wrestlers. But on this Masters of the Universe stuff, I think if you're not a big toy seller and you do pick up sort of a little lot like this, what would be the best thing for you to do is probably just list as a lot and list it up really, really high with offers and see what comes in because you don't really want to be stuffing around with it. If you're a clothing seller, I mean, you don't want to be mucking around with all that stuff, parting it out. You get a little bit more money from it. Yes, 100%. But how nice is a $300 sale or a $200 sale just straight off the bat uh, without really having to do much? So that's always one thing to think about, but I like putting them on the shelf I like displaying them while they're in, uh, while they're for sale. So I'm more than happy to part it out. And also when I need an easy listing day where I'm not going to go super hard, and I just need some fun stuff rather than clothing and shit. Um, that's just really quick to fang up. So that's why I kind of part them out. But it's not recommended for everyone. If you're only sort of small scale and you you just want to get shit out, in and out, in and out, list as a bundle. List as a bundle. But I like part of it. I just do. Now... Now, the cool thing with the leftover stuff, I haven't worked out exactly who's everything's thing goes for, but um, a couple of these go for a couple of the figures that I already have. So I can redo some listings and uh, get a little bit more money out of them. So yeah, uh, pretty happy today. And then this unit, we spent 20 bucks on this one. Uh, that was making off uh, of 20 bucks. Snagged it. This one was $2. This one doesn't have the remote. That's not going to be an issue at all. I'll either buy one or just sell as is. I'll just piss it off. Now, this thing, what do you reckon? I looked this up, and there's one sold. One sold for $300 on that model. I've never sold anything like this. I actually have no idea. Big and bulky. What do you reckon, Coco? Will I actually flip this? I paid $10. So we paid $32 for these three units. Um, and there's potentially a thousand bucks. I don't know. I've got to search these models and uh, see what they're exactly worth. But um, God knows. Pretty happy. I'm a big fan of electronics. Now that garage sales are open again, I want to focus on it a bit more. I used to do a bit of that stuff just from garage sales, but I need to start looking on Marketplace and Gumtree and all these other sorts and ways to pick up this sort of stuff again because I actually love selling electronics. So um, I need to do a bit more research. I need to learn these markets a bit better. It's an area I want to step into more. I know what I know. I know bits and pieces that get me a lot of money in regards to VCRs, video cameras, digital cameras, but Man, I know 1% of the knowledge that there is out there to learn, and that probably goes for most of us. So I have a lot to learn on this uh, in this category, and it's an area I'm going to try and focus on in the new year. It's definitely an area I want to focus on. But anyway, that's me done today. Uh, something different, walking around some garage sales. Did you like that style? I'm hoping to get to a few more now they're out. Uh, let me know below. I appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next week. Kako.